Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna talk about this bore cider kit that we got to make a video about. Let's talk about it. All right, I'm gonna try to flash up the company name because there's no way I'm going to pronounce it because yes, I am 100% sure this is a Chinese company, all right? So for those people that just, that's a major turnoff, go ahead, skip the video, move on to the next thing, all right? But I am gonna say this, they sent me this optic, it's from off of Amazon, right? So they sent me, not optic, they sent me this bore cider kit to make a video about, talk about. I have no affiliation other than the fact that they sent me this to do this video, okay? So, and I have always, 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 I have always said whenever anybody's reached out to me that I will make a video and that's fine, and I'm gonna say the good stuff, the bad stuff, and the ugly stuff, and whatever. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad, all right? What I will say with this particular product is I have not had the opportunity to actually go out and zero a gun with it, right? So I'm just gonna kind of be giving you generalized overview specifications, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Without further ado, let's just jump into this thing, all right? Best as I can understand, this is called the Pursuit Bore Cider Kit. Right there, right? That's my best understanding of what this is called. It doesn't even have a brand on the box. I'm not seeing anything. So I'm guessing that's just, it's kind of an off brand, I guess. I'm, I'm assuming because there's no brand on the box, right? And there's no brand on the product itself. There's no markings, there's no nothing on this, okay? So now that we have it open, let's look at this thing. Basically, if you know what bore siding is, the old school, old school way of bore siding was literally set your gun down in a rest, open up the action, right look down through the chamber out the barrel look out away like the gun's pointing away from you you're looking through the barrel way down at whatever target you're trying to hit right and you line that target up in the middle of the barrel and then you look at your optic and you align your reticle with the center of the whatever the thing is that you're trying to shoot at the bullseye or whatever it might be that is bore sighting that's looking down the bore looking down the barrel from the chamber side from the you know, the side that the person's on, not not the muzzle side, make sure I'm saying that right. Right, you're looking down the bore and you're aligning the reticle with whatever is in the center of that bore line, okay? More um, technical instruments like this have been created to get you a little bit more precise than just the human eye, okay? I've used laser bore siders, which in essence, shine a laser down the barrel, down the bore of the firearm, so you can actually see what is exactly pointed straight down the barrel, right? So that at whatever range you're zeroing at, you can shoot that laser straight down, and then you can see the laser, and you can align your reticle, your red dot, whatever it might be, that's that's your optic, align that to the laser. This system does not use any batteries, it doesn't use any lasers, it doesn't use any of that. It basically uses this contraption, right? Which is kind of has a, a well, you can't really quite see through it because this, this side here is kind of fogged, as it were, and that's on purpose, right? Because you're not looking through this, you're basically looking into it. And on the inside of here, there's like a target, right? With, with, with a grid pattern, right? And that's kind of printed on the inside of it. And you're basically going to align this instrument with the bore of your firearm and look down the scope and align your reticle with the target matrix in here. All right, so I know that was probably kind of complicated Maybe I'll be able to demonstrate it a little bit and that might make a little bit more sense. Basically, what this kit comes with, like I said, is this main instrument, this main device, and then these little rods that are caliber specific, right? I'm not gonna read them all off, but basically your major rifle calibers from uh, .177, so BB gun, all the way up to 50 cal. Your, your rifle cartridges, not pistol stuff, so it doesn't have like nine millimeter and some things like that, but it has your basic rifle calibers, right? So you should be good. Also, this kit includes a 20 gauge um, slash 12 gauge uh, bore sighter. So if you were sighting in, say, a slug gun for deer season or something like that, you could use this system, okay? So let's demonstrate this. Let's kind of show you how it's supposed to work and then we'll wrap this whole thing up. So for today's demonstration, we're just gonna use the 22 caliber um, rod that they have. Make sure you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. There's a little flat right here that has the calibers basically etched on it, so you're not gonna mistake it for something else, right? But you have that little flat area, and then on the other side, there's this little little piece, of, kind of like a tension arm that sticks up, right? And I believe, it looks like it's made out of copper, which is good, because you wouldn't want steel, because I could scratch the inside of your barrel, you don't want to do that. Um, so it looks like it's made out of copper, so it shouldn't scratch anything up. 
basically what we're gonna do, close this box up, um, is on the bore cider itself, you have this tension screw, right? So you're gonna back it out a little bit. It, it's not captured, so if you screwed it all the way out, it's gonna fall out, so don't do that. Um, that flat part with a number, right? That's gonna face down, and this tension screw is gonna basically set on where that number is, right? So you kinda line everything up, screw the tension screw in a little bit, right? Make sure it's in that slot, because that does help it stay exactly where it needs to be. See, it's, it's in that slot. I would pull this piece all the way back till it stops, screw it just hand tight, screw the screw in, and now it's not gonna be moving around, and now that little tension bar is facing up, right? That's what we wanna do. All right, how this actually goes onto the firearm itself is we've removed any muzzle device, we've removed any suppressor, anything else that's on the end of it, so we just have the barrel itself, because I will say, if you have some kind of a brake or a muzzle device or a suppressor attachment or anything like that, these little rods are not long enough to actually go past the muzzle device and into the barrel, because this, this rod needs to be inside the barrel for this whole system to work, all right? So, take this rod, insert it into the barrel, and then you're gonna have to align, um, basically, the, the bore cider with the scope itself. I'm gonna cut to some footage here and kind of show you what I'm talking about. You're gonna have to move the bore cider kind of left and right a little bit to make sure that it is aligned with your scope, with the reticle, like straight up and down, all right? This particularly is good for a scope. This is not gonna be good for a red dot, right? Because you have to be magnified and able to see inside of the bore cider. Once everything is aligned, the theory is you should just simply align or adjust your reticle to the bullseye, basically, the center line in the bore cider. And once you have done that, you have pretty much, you should have pretty much achieved a straight line, achieved a straight line between the bore of the barrel and the scope reticle, right? I hope that makes sense. Both of these lines of sight should be pretty much squared on. That is the running theory, that's how it's supposed to work, and that should get you on paper, and then you should go actually fire the firearm, right? Make sure you take this thing out, because if you leave this thing in and try to shoot the gun, you're gonna, you're gonna damage the firearm and damage this thing, you're gonna damage a whole bunch of stuff, and you could get hurt. Make sure you take this thing out, make sure that rod comes out of the barrel as well. Um, just a case in point, if you saw on the on the footage that I cut to there, um, the reticle was not exactly lined up with the with the bore cider, and that's okay, right? Because I know for me personally, this scope is zeroed in. It is zeroed in for the ammunition that I use. I've used this. I've shot targets with it. I've gone successfully taken game with it. I've hunted with it. Um, I know that this scope is sighted in, so that should be a case in point to where. You can use the bore cider to get on paper, but then you need to go fine tune your scope. And in order to do that, you have to actually shoot the firearm, right? So don't 100% rely on any bore cider. I don't care what anybody says, whether it be this one or laser bore cider, a high-end bore cider, whatever it might be, you have to bore sight it and then confirm your zero. So make sure you do that. And they actually they actually say that in the in the instructions itself. So make sure you read your instructions, make sure you follow those instructions. All right, guys, so that is just a quick little down and dirty look at this bore cider kit. Um, again, I have not personally actually been able to bore sight with this particular setup and then go out and confirm zero and, and sight in the firearm. Um, I'm, I've basically just been able to show you how it is supposed to work. So it does appear that it would get you on paper, depending on the distance that you're actually trying to zero at. Um, I showed you what it actually looks like through the scope on a, on a, on a truly zeroed scope right and you could see that it was just a little bit off and that's okay that's that's fine bore, bore siding is not the ultimate zeroing anything it's a step it's one of the beginning steps to zeroing your firearm right it's not the end step it's like the first step okay so keep that in mind don't trust this bore cider or any other bore cider to truly be an exact zero it's a bore cider it's the first step and then you actually side in your firearm i know i'm beating a dead horse to death going over and over and over saying that but I feel like it needs to be said because I feel like a lot of people are gonna try to bore sight something and then they don't actually test fire and you're not actually zeroed until you fine tune that, your zero on your firearm, right? Hope that makes sense. I hope you appreciated that. Um, this, again, this is just a demonstration of how this thing is supposed to work and not necessarily a check mark of an approval or disapproval. It's just a product, that's all I know about it, all right? You guys be good, you be safe. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, and everything, and hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.